up close and personal with a thousand foot long super tanker in the Arabian Sea. The Kelly, with a capacity of two million barrels, is calling on what was the sleepy port of Fujairah. Did we catch any vessels uh, crossing today? From the control tower, harbor master Captain Tamar Masood monitors a flotilla of tankers hovering offshore, represented by the dots on the screen. The Emirate is leveraging its prime position, 70 nautical miles south of the Strait of Hormuz, the world's busiest oil shipping lane, to create a strategic energy hub. Captain Musa Murad has been on the front line of its build-out for three decades. Did you ever think you'd get to this scale? Not at all, not at all. I mean, we are just tiny port. We saw just we're going to serve our trader here. The loading of a super tanker is a major milestone for the rulers of Fujairah. They launched their plan during the first Gulf War, seeing a long line of tankers parked outside the port due to conflict. It gives a comfort level also, a psychological comfort level, which is as important as the economic value. Uh, because of its strategic location? Because of its strategic location. I think the capacity to be able to bring in this kind of vessel are fully laden, so this is going to be the deepest port in the Middle East, um, gives it yet another dimension to this growing uh, storage hub. All told, over five and a half billion dollars have been spent here. Money allocated during the heady days of $100 oil. Being able to host super tankers is the final piece of the puzzle for Fujera. It already stores nearly 60 million barrels on shore and it receives oil via pipeline from neighboring Abu Dhabi. Fujera has emerged as the third largest energy hub after Singapore and Rotterdam. We are looking, I think, with this facility to compete internationally because there is, there is also aspiration to build a second one. This is the UAE version of doubling down on investment to secure market share. Today, onshore storage tanks are bursting at the seams with a global glut of some 3 billion barrels. So super tankers like the Kelly are loading up and coming offshore as storage. Now they can do so right in the heart of the world's oil belt. John Defterius, CNN Money, Fujairah.